Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of BTVN. I'm Lou Gerson. And I'm Maddie Rudman. We've got a lot to cover today, so roll the intro. I'm gonna love you until you hate me. And now I'm gonna show you somewhat, somewhat what's really crazy. You should have known better than to mess with me hard. Welcome back everyone. We would like to start off by congratulating Samantha Rock and Josh Smith. They made varsity debate history with their fourth place varsity finish at the 42nd annual California Invitational hosted by the University of California Berkeley over President's Day weekend. Nearly 200 varsity teams from across the country competed. The senior duo's successful performance also earned them a bid to the Tournament of Champions at the University of Kentucky in April. Congrats guys! Also, Adam Ayali and Ross Fitzpatrick picked up hardware with a 4-2 record that earned them a spot in the elimination rounds. They finished in the top third of the tough field of teams from more than 20 states. Adding two more trophies to the count were novice debaters John Fussell and Megan Nalamachu, who were the 12th seed in 131 field of junior varsity debaters. The five awards from this weekend bring the Barstow Debate Trophy count to 103 for the season. Wow, awesome job guys. In other successes, the middle school speech team finished first in the small school division of Friday's tournament at Ray Peck East Middle School. Individually, Annie James earned fifth place overall in impromptu speaking and third overall in declamation. Stella Call earned second overall in impromptu speaking and second overall in declamation. And Luke Oldroyd finished first overall in prose. 7th graders Louis Cristofano, Gwen Lobb, Eric Wright, and Ali Yoon, along with 8th graders Brooklyn Arment, Sammy Matula, Eliana Palazzi, Robbie Putney, and Lily Sikora also contributed to Barstow's successes. Congrats to the middle school speech team. So Luke, are you any good at speech? You know, I'm good at everything, but I'm especially good at singing. And speaking of singing, the Crossroads Festival is coming up this Saturday here at Barstow. We haven't hosted this event since 2009, so make sure to come out and support me. Well, you're so, since you're so good at everything, do you know anything about Chinese New Year? You know, I surprisingly don't. Okay, well, seventh grade students have been actively learning about the Chinese New Year. They learned that the Chinese New Year is based on the lunar calendar and is also called the Spring Festival. With the help of the International Club, students made red and gold lanterns to decorate the middle school hallways in order to raise awareness and recognize our fellow school members, both in Kansas City and China, who celebrate this holiday. The red lanterns symbolize good fortune for the upcoming year. Students also interviewed several Chinese international students to find out about their favorite activities associated with this holiday. This video is a compilation of what they learned and was edited by Jonah Gerson and Gwen Lobb. Roll it. I enjoy most the New Year Eve, the night I spent with my family. I eat, uh, we usually prepare big dinner with lots of plates. I like receiving the red packets and also the food such as um, the radish cake. At um, 12 o'clock midnight, we will have this, those huge fireworks that goes on in the sky, which is really beautiful. You can hear it all around the city. I would go out with those uh, my Chinese friends. When here we don't celebrate the Chinese New Year that much. I just celebrate it with my host family or my friends. Chinese New Year is a lunar calendar January 1st and it changes all the time with the calendar we are using now. In Asia, you will see the whole two weeks they celebrate, they do a lot of activity, they eating a lot of food, and they playing a lot of game, and the most famous one is the Mahjong. And it's usually in February, and it's really, uh, really similar to Christmas in the West, and we really enjoy it uh, a lot in China, and it's greatly celebrated. In my hometown, I can like we can have fireworks. Some family celebration or in the hot pot. It's the it's a one of the dishes that can, is it is a soup base. You put out your favorite food in there. In my family, we usually gather together 
and invite some friends at the holidays. We'll, we'll have a nice meal. Playing the mahjong, whole family sit down together playing the mahjong, including Mei Mei want to join with us now. Awesome video, guys. It's cool to see the seventh grade helping out and making videos for BTVN. For sure. Anyway, we have a few more announcements. College night for juniors and parents is tonight at 6.30 p.m. in Price Hall. And in homecoming news, don't forget that the homecoming game is this Friday and the dance is on Saturday at Deer Creek. There will be the annual homecoming assembly at 2.30 on Friday also. I'm looking forward to being the four-time champions of Tug of War, aren't you, Luke? Oh, I'm so excited. And also, the homecoming court presentation is during the halftime of the varsity boys game. And don't forget to buy your Stowe sunglasses so that you'll be ready for the dance. Madison, now that we are seniors, do you ever look back on being in the first grade? You know, Luke, not really. Why? Because Clara Wanker made a piece about a day in the life of a first grader. Let's take a look. Part of the school day is getting to be more smart. I'm learning math, art. Um, we we make stuff. Mm, math. Um, recess. Um, recess. 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 Learning, like doing math. Well, Wednesdays I w go to aftercare now, and I'm going today. And I used to Tuesdays. My favorite part of the school day is getting is getting to spend time with my with my teacher. Well, today we played Ghosts in the White House. Well, we're playing a game, and we're in the White House, and some of us are ghosts. I play with my best friend, Meryl. I play princesses. I'm um, hiding go seek. Some boys sneak up on us, but apparently he lied yesterday. Sports, basketball, and soccer. Play soccer. Soccer. Well, I've been playing soccer with my friends. I started playing soccer with my friends yesterday, and well, I'm not that good at it. Usually one of my, my teammates is really good at soccer, so he's pretty much the guy giving all the goals. Well, I look forward to doing all the neat classes that you guys get to do. I don't know what you do in high school. Still learning. Working hard. I don't know. Working hard. Being a really good student. Thanks, Clara. Breaking news, there will be a Spofford meeting tomorrow during lunch in Dr. Rourke's room. They will be discussing important variety show details, so it would be great if as many club members could be there as possible. Well, I believe that is all we have time for today. I'm Maddie Rudman. And I'm Luke. Have a great day, Barstow.